It's your boy, Jim TV. Welcome back to the channel. You can like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. And we are back with another clip, another video, and some things to get into with our thoughts, man. Stay tuned for the commentary, and I'll be with you shortly. Hey, it's your boy, Jim's TV, man. And we are back with another video for the channel. Man, it's getting crazy out here um, in these uh, streets of the rap world. <laughs> I ain't even gonna call them the streets, but just in the rap world in general, entertainment, um, and things like that. We want to look at this situation with casting over the day, man. It is crazy, crazy, crazy that this man um, is in jail, fighting for his life, uh, after being a top dog in the industry or want to come up in the industry. And I want people to know is, man, your life situation could change at any second, any given moment due to any circumstances. And you could just be cool with some guys, man. Um, nowadays, we don't really know what people are getting recos for, man. These rappers are getting recos. And a part of that process is, you know, you get convicted or you get jailed and you take whatever time you take and you take your licks and you take the consequences for your actions or just being around other guys, taking responsibility and accountability for yourself and the part that you played in the making your life situation what it is, everything that come with it is a part of the consequence. So casting over behind them walls, man, and I say fighting for his life, not in the figure, not in the literal sense of him fighting for his life or life support or nothing like that, but every day in jail is a fight for your life. Um, prison is a different type of animal. Um, being on regular lockup in central booking or whatever type precinct, it's all a different animal, especially mentally. Um, and you know, recently they say he dropped his flag, man. He, he laid down his, you know, his gang flag. He denounced the gang. He's, he's done with it. And, um, we don't know if this is consequences because it ain't no leave. If you drop your flag, from what I understand, I've never been in the gang. Um, but from what I understand, what I've heard from people who've been in that life or just in general, people speaking on it, you know, it's supposed to be a consequence when you drop your flag and denounce the gang and say that I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Because initially, um, like back in the day in those movies, colors and things like that are supposed to be blood in, blood out. Once you sign up, you signed up for life, you know, and with that. If that was the case, that's tragic because I'm oh, just trying to get through a sentence in here. He just, you know, he already took his time, took it on the chin like a man, uh, played out to the situation that they was accusing him of, you know, because, hey, we know what the feds say. Hey, you go and fight that thing. You can do way more time, especially if you waste the, the courts and you waste the federal government money by going to trial. They gonna want to smash. It. They gonna want to see about that. Okay, you you bought that action. You wanted to come to trial. You want to fight it, fight it. Okay, now you fighting it. Hey, let's go ahead and give him whatever we got for him. Give him the whole thing, the whole max. Don't give him nothing less. Eighty five percent of your time, you got to do all of whatever they give you. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. You get in these situations. Hey, listen, you gonna fight it or you gonna plead out? Either way, for them, it's a conviction. They win either way. But you take them to trial, it's going to cost you. So he did what he was, he did what people say you're supposed to do. He took his time. And he, he waiting on the sentencing. He waiting on to see how much time he's going to get. And in prison, anything goes. Any, any time of the day, you can get into something. And just that quick, they might add on to whatever they was going to give him. So now he might face more time, you know. He was in the altercation in the prison. They cut his face. Whatever happened, we don't know the details. They cut his face. And, yeah, and they saying he ran down behind a guy, jumped on top of him, cut his face back. Got to survive in there. I mean, and now, I mean, going forward, how much time he got to do. Now people know, hey, he, he bought his business. You can't just do what you want to do to cash and over. He going to fight back. But I feel, I feel compelled to say that I feel, uh, feel bad for this man. feel bad for any man behind those walls. Uh, for Especially if it's not based upon direct action that you took and things that you've done to yourself. Or a situation you put yourself in. Because 
with a Rico, you could have just gave a guy five. Or somebody just said, hey, he was a part of this right here. Once they drop your name, I mean, you seen on camera dapping, shaking, shaking hands, they can put you in that Rico. You could be smoking a joint with a guy. Hey, he might have just shot six people before he got to you. But he ain't tell you that. And that don't mean just because you were standing next to him, you knew exactly what he just got finished doing. So they put you in the Rico. And a lot of times with the Rico, hey, whoever got the biggest name, they show you the top rapper, this, that, that, and third, and you been hanging around these people, and you done went on record and said, you gang, gang, you down, this my hood, this my set, this where I'm from, and yeah. Oh, he got the biggest name. All right, he the top dog. It don't make it true. But it's about what they accuse and what they can prove. But then with the fans, nine times out of ten, they got their ducks in the row. So whatever charge they give me, and you plead out, you took that, that's because you knew, hey, listen, there's a possibility in this trial they got me. I don't want to fight this. And your lawyer will probably advise you that if you have a great lawyer or a decent lawyer, it would advise you, hey, listen, uh, based on what you told me, based on the facts of the case, it don't look like we're going to win this one. And if we do win it, it's going to be a dog fight and it's going to be almost impossible. So, listen, I'll tell you the best odds. Because even with your lawyer, they got a stake in the game. Hey, listen, if I get my client this 10 years out of a possible 50 year sentence or 50 year uh, or, or life sentence, all right, he, he avoided life sentence by pleading out and taking this 10 years. Guess what? I'm going with that lawyer right there. It rises and sticks. Hey, you go in with a, a lawyer and you beat the feds. That lawyer's stock goes up. So either way, it, it's a win for them. But you the one on trial fighting for your life. So with somebody like Casanova, man, you coming from being a rapper, and you got to go back to doing what you was doing in the streets. Sometimes, you know, it's sad, man. So now we just waiting to see. You know, you go to sentencing in a month. Who knows or later this month, so... Who knows what's really going to happen in this man. And then now you got an incident before you went to Sansa. Feel scared for the brother, man. But, you know, President Casanova, his family, his friends, his loved ones, man. Uh, it just, hey, for anybody going through this situation, man, it could happen to anybody. Um, the world not perfect. People ain't perfect. Things don't go according to plan all the time. Sometimes life is just life and shit just happens. But, uh, and then prayers to the other young man who, uh, who got his face cut. Because at the end of the day, if I hurt you, you hurt me. We both hurt people. So prayers to those young men, gentlemen, and, uh, man, that's all I got, man. Stay blessed. Stay up. Stems TV. We out.